HRV versus ERV. What are they and what is the difference? Good ventilation in homes today is very important as new construction builds homes that are tighter and tighter. Some of the things that we want to remove from the home is carbon dioxide, which is a product of our breathing. We want to control the humidity in the home. We want to remove heat, which is generated from people and lighting and other devices in the home. And we want to disperse any bacteria, smoke and dust and other things that accumulate in the home. HRVs and ERVs are similar devices in that both supply air into the home and exhaust stale air while recovering energy from the exhaust air in the process. The primary difference between the two is that an HRV transfers heat while an ERV transfers both heat and moisture. If your home is too humid in winter, above 60% relative humidity, then an HRV is the better choice, as it would surely get rid of excess humidity while an ERV would tend to keep humidity at a high level. Also in colder climates, an ERV can freeze up, where HRVs have a defrost cycle which prevents ice buildup in the heat exchanger core. This graphic depiction shows how a HRV ERV is connected into the home air supply system. An HRV ERV transfers heat and moisture in the case of an ERV from exhaust air into fresh incoming air. So it pulls fresh air from outside through the HRV ERV and exhausts the stale air to the outside. This slide shows how heat is exchanged in the core of the HRV ERV. While we are pulling in zero degree outside fresh air, it is exchanged in the core of the HRV or the ERV with the return air that is 70 degrees, giving us a supply air into the home of 65 degrees. Again, showing the inner workings of an HRV ERV, it is the core of this device when we bring cool, fresh outdoor air in where the heated heat is exchanged and we deliver warmed, fresh air into the house. Also notice, as we have said before, an HRV does have a defrost cycle to prevent ice buildup in the core during the winter. In this slide, we are showing the differences between the ERV and the HRV. In the energy recovery unit, we can transfer outgoing humidity to the incoming air during the winter. We can also transfer incoming humidity to the exhausting air during the summer. With an HRV or heat recovery ventilator, we cannot transfer the outgoing humidity to the incoming air during the winter. And we also cannot transfer incoming humidity to the exhausting air during the summer. In this regional map, you will notice that the Pacific Northwest is rated as either moderate or marine climate, which can accept the use of either a heat recovery ventilator or an energy recovery ventilator. You will need to check your particular application to determine whether an HRV or an ERV is right for your application. Go to arefco.com for more videos. Like, subscribe, and check back every week for new videos.